Welcome to Fresh Escapes. We're about to show you a tropical island hideaway where the palm trees, white sand beaches and warm turquoise lagoons are just the start. We're going to discover just how much the Cocos Keeling Islands have to offer. But before we get started, here's a couple of things you should know. The Cocos Keeling Islands are 2,700 kilometres from Perth. There are 27 islands in the atoll. Only two are inhabited, West Island and Home Island. All up, there's a permanent population of around 550, so many times smaller than a local suburb or even a country town. The landmass of all 27 islands is just 14 square kilometres. So, let's get started. Our first stop is Direction Island. Direction Island is one of the most stunning in the atoll. And today, I'm going snorkelling with a sea scooter. It's a fairly new tour for us and it's been really well received. I get started and what's the first thing I see? Yep, that's a shark. Inside the lagoon, there are tens of thousands of these black and white tipped reef sharks. And that's not all that's in here. The reef is teeming with life of every colour. This is a hawksbill turtle. They're listed as critically endangered. There's not enough of them in the world, but there's a healthy population here in the lagoon. Dita, who runs the tours, says the sea scooters are great for all skill levels. And even the accomplished snorkelers, uh, you know, find that uh, it's great for them to enhance that activity for them. And people that perhaps aren't that confident, uh, the machines are positively buoyant, so they're hanging on to something on the surface that uh, gives them that little bit more confidence and security in the water. OK, once we're confident with the scooter, it's time to head across the reef for a drift snorkel. Once we arrive, a channel emerges, and those with a bit more confidence show off their duck diving skills. Meg is one of those who's been doing this for some time. How many times a week do you head out and do this? Uh, normally four to five times a week. Yeah, just trying to spend every day on the water because in a location like this, why would it be? Yes. Yes. And yeah. what's it like under the ledge? I wasn't really quite game enough to go under the ledge and follow you under there. Well, what do you see under there? That is a little hidey spot for the white tips. They like to sleep under there. Um, there's you no... are brave. You are so brave. No, they're so friendly and honestly, they just mind their own business. through some of the things that we saw today. So we saw, to start with, the black tip reef sharks, we saw white tip reef sharks, hawksbill turtles, lots of trevally, the soft and hard corals. We have such a diverse range of them here. It was amazing. Rick Soderland is the marketing manager for the islands and says this tour provides the experiences visitors are looking for. Go out on a boat and you can see some of the most pristine coral reefs, shallow water, crystal clear warm water. So it's really easy for people, even if they're not confident in the water, they get to see and experience some, some really nice marine life. It is incredible. Honestly, some of the best scuba and snorkeling that you can get on the planet. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. 